Here we go. Got everything? Yeah, I'm okay. Here, honey. An offering for the king. <laughs> See you later, Mom. Listen to your teacher, okay? And, uh, give the king my best. with an angel, Mom. Yeah. Maybe we'll tango today instead of waltz. That's our way of saying goodbye. My husband is an Air Force pilot and refers to fighter planes as angels. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this, and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. That iron giant is the pride of Grace Maria, our capital city. In the old quarter of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. In the throne room rests the Golden King. He's been smiling for a good 600 years now. The king was a gentle person who was a bit on the small side, but he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. Afterwards, they found such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. Anyway, that's how the story goes. His smiling face still touches the hearts of our people. The very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. That was a brand new day. The song on the radio seems to be a perfect match for the sunny weather. sound and the shaking was that a blast of wind from an explosion the castle disappeared behind a pillar of flame attention all pilots our capital city grace maria is under attack by unknown aircraft damage from the attacks is widespread throughout the city all planes scramble and intercept all threats immediately. Garuda team, time to take off.
aircraft under airborne command's jurisdiction following takeoff. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Airborne warning and control system goes tight to all scrambling defense craft. The situation has not yet been ascertained. We must implement an emergency reformation. Follow your individual instructions. Garuda One, you do not have a wingman. Let's see. Shamrock. Shamrock, are you alone too? Very well. As of now, you're Garuda Two. Okay. Engage the enemy at will following Nimbus inbox. 
Our military has escaped destruction because of your valiant efforts on the battlefield. But our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estevakian forces. And our central government has been usurped by them as well. The nation of Estevakia had declared war with our country as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. Our forces remaining on the Amerian mainland are still fighting in desperation to protect our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Ameria's armed forces must immediately regroup and counterattack, 
against the Federal Republic of Estovakia. The beautiful country of Ameria belongs to us, and only us, the Amerian people. Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. Oh, no. No! Matilda! I vaguely hear a scream of terror that sounds much like my own voice from afar. I feel as though the Golden King's gentle smile is moving. Moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kesid, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. <laughs> 